Do cows hug? I've been a sanctuary volunteer for about two years. I knew there's something special about Rosie. So I sat with her and took some time to read. I spoke with her and I stroked her head. I helped keep the flies away from her face and I gave her the chance to trust me. We started to connect and she started to relax. The most amazing thing happened next. She started to lay her head on me several times. She was careful not to hurt me. This was a powerful experience, one I won't soon forget. And she relaxed into me more and more, gradually letting the weight of her head relax onto me. I could feel her calmness. Her fur is so soft. She's like a gentle giant. Rosie is aware. Non-human animals are unique, each with their own individual personality. I connect with each of the animals at the sanctuary differently. She reminded me a lot of her dogs at home, just wanting to feel safe and loved. What happens to Rosie matters to her. She values her life. It's irreplaceable. Rosie recently celebrated her 20th birthday. She has gray whiskers on the tip of her nose. She's one of the lucky ones. Rosie is the proud leader of the herd. More about Rosie's story to come in future videos. Do you think cows are aware and care about their lives? Don't support violating their rights by needlessly breeding and killing them. Choose vegan. Thanks for watching and for the opportunity to help the residents at Friend, check out friendanimalsanctuary.org. Please share.